uh, leave you to it. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I am transmitting a digital minimap representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Good. All right, I'm good to go. Yeah, should I count down? All right, three, two, one, go. All right, so this is Ratchet Gladiator. Um, there's a lot to explain in this game, but I'm the only one here that really knows it, and it's quite full on, so I'll try to explain what I can as we go, but there may be some things where you just need to bear with me. Um, so the basic plot of this game is that we are Ratchet, we are kind of an intergalactic hero. Um, and we've been kidnapped by this guy called Vox, and he basically runs a television program where he kidnaps heroes and forces them to fight and kill each other. So we really have no choice but to compete, um, otherwise we're going to get murdered, they're just going to throw us off into space and all that. They don't really care about us, they just want views and money and all that stuff. So um, the reason this category is called New Game Plus is because in the Ratchet & Clank games, there's a theme where when you finish the game, you can restart with all your previous weapons and items and stuff. So that's why you can tell here we're going through really quickly, because we have all our weapons basically perfect for this run. Um, so we're just going to be skipping through the levels using the weapons that are appropriate for the time. Um, we also have a skin you can see here where we look like a ninja. Um, to get that, you need to unlock all these cards that are spinning in the center. And you basically just need to 100% the game to get them. Um, but it makes us move around much faster than normal, so... Um, yeah. So this game kind of works. We have a bunch of different challenges. Um, you can see here we've got our commentators in the background. They'll, I guess they can kind of help me commentate. Um, you've got Juanita and Dallas is their names. So you saw a little thing I did there called fla um, flail cancelling to jump over the edge. There's a really good spot to show it off later on if I do it correctly. Um, so I'll do it then, but for now you've just got to bear with me that it's, it's something that will be explained. Um, there's a cool little thing we can do here if I do it correctly, where we wrong warp to the end of this area. It's the only place in the game we actually can wrong warp, but it exists for some reason, so... Uh, yeah. So this area we're starting in here is kind of the main hub, and then once we've done some stuff here, we'll fly out to planet. So here we're going to Catacomb 4. Um, this is the zombie barrel ground. Um, you'll see a good example here of the game where it kind of tells you to do certain things, but that might not be what actually triggers the end. Um, so you see in the second level, for example, is a good example. There's a little jump I'm going to try to do here, which we use the Vulcan cannon for, which we only do with this jump here, where we skip over these things. There we go. It's pretty simple, but it just means we don't have to deactivate those electrical force fields. So for example, in this level here, it wants us to open up a bridge with some bolt cranks, but we don't want to do that, so we're just going to skip over the bridge and just get to the end of the level. And it's quite funny too, because the commentators are trying to explain what he's doing, but we often finish before they even finish, so we kind of just interrupt them. Um, here we get the first vehicle, there's several in the game. This is the Landstalker, which the commentator will explain. Um, we're just trying to get to the checkpoint in this. No, oh, no, oh, there we go. So the fastest movement here is strafing, which is just holding L2 and R2. The problem with that is we have to be facing sideways. So if we want to destroy those orbs to get through the gates, we have to face the right way. But other than that, we're just going to scoot along. You see there's a green robot there. Um, part of this game's theme is it gives you two battle bots to help you, and they can do various tasks for us. So we want them to hack orbs or turn a bolt crank or just fight alongside us. We can instruct them to do that. Um, they can be a bit irritating, they can often get stuck on things, so there will be times later on where we're going to stop and wait for them to kind of just make sure they know what they're doing. Um, and occasionally they'll die and we'll have to revive them. So here we've just got a little arena thing. 
We're going to destroy some zombies. Oh, not yet. Um, and then there'll be a ship coming in, which we're going to try snipe as soon as we can. There we go. Um, the lucky thing about this game is that all, uh, not all, but most levels have enemies that spawn consistently. So we can kind of know what weapons to grab where and what enemies are coming. Um, which makes it nice. It's not like we have to guess, try to figure out where it is. So we're already onto the second planet, we're on Sarathos Swamp here. Um, we'll start doing something called mine clipping, which is really simple. We kind of just go to a barrier that'll be up, because it'll want us to maybe kill some enemies, or hack some orbs, or turn a bolt crank. But we're going to try to use mines to instead just push us through. Um, the only time we won't is if, the, as I was saying before, the game kind of tracks some sort of objective. So if it's just get through to the end, then we'll get through to the end. If it's like, hack all the orbs, then we have to hack all the orbs, even if we can skip through some areas. So here I'm going to instruct my bots to hack these orbs, and then I'm just going to kill some guys around them. You also see at times where I'm looking down, that's purely to reduce lag. Um, these Omega weapons, they call them, cause a lot of lag when you're looking up. So we're just going to try look down to reduce that lag. Um, and the mini-map on the bottom right is incredibly helpful for knowing where enemies are, so I'll be looking at that a lot. Um, there we go. So this will be the mission where we hopefully can do some mine clipping. It can be a little stingy, each kind of surface has like a different um, kind of distance away it likes you to be with the mines, but uh, we'll see how we go. Let's see here. There we nice. go, that's the first one. And there'll be a fair amount of them. Oh, I jumped off the edge! <laughs> All right, I didn't let myself off a bit there. Once you um got your charge boots on, they are you can't really steer that much, so you kind of got to be careful of where you're looking at. But that's all right. Yeah, this can be a little stingy, and as I said, kind of each wall has like a different um. Nice. All right, let's actually get up here this time. There we go. Just skip some time here. And then we just have one last one for this level here. This tower can be a bit annoying. So if this takes a bit, which it hopefully won't, I may just have to disable it. Just to give me a bit more time to line this up. There nice. we go. So now we get into the second vehicle, the Puma. Um, in this challenge, it wants us to go around and turn a bunch of bolt cranks to open a door, which is what the commentator will say, but we're just going to skip through the door and just go to the um, the end area. It doesn't actually check if you've captured the control nodes or not in this. So we're just going to make our way there. We don't have to kill anything. Um, this door's kind of clunky to clip through because it's so big. It looks big, but really the plane is quite straight. So it's kind of guessing how to do it, but... um. It's pretty lenient, as you can see there, so we're just going to get over here and then charge over the gap. You see the main movement we're doing is the charge boots. It's normally something you get super late in the game, but because this is New Game Plus, we have it um, early on, so we're just going to use that to zoom around everywhere. So, right now we're supposed to be hyping up, as the commentator is saying, for a big fight with a Leviathan. Um, so we're mainly going to use these mines, because lots of the enemies jump out from the middle, and our bots are just going to hack the orbs on the side. Um, and then right at the end, we're basically just going to try kill the boss as soon as he spawns. Huh? Alright. Just a... This is got. We'll read out a couple of donations. Yep. Uh, we got 10 bucks. Uh, sorry, 2 bucks. Uh, dab for chat liquid. Salty. So, I think liquid's out of here. Yeah, alright. Well, liquid's still getting money. So... Yeah, yeah, you gave yeah, more money. But you have to dab, apparently. Uh, that's done. Uh, someone else also donated two bucks and started a petition on change.org for uh, Liquid to do the Marge voice. But, uh, but yeah, now he's actually out of here with his cake, so. Feels bad, man. And uh, last two dollars, F in the chat to pay respects to William. Monker S. Good emo. Alright, so now we're in... I think this is Kronos. I don't remember the city names. Um, we're gonna try to be doing some hops out of... You see these arenas here? Normally you're supposed to kill some enemies to open the doors, but we're gonna try to get out early. Um, it's a little tricky, and we may just be in here so long that the enemies just die, so it's kind of just get it if you can. But the timing isn't perfect, but we basically want to hop up and then get to where we want to go. So here, for example, we just have to hack some orbs, so we're gonna jump over get our bots to start in these orbs, and then we're just going to shoot some ships down. We're going to start using this, called the Supernova, which is a slow but very powerful gun, as you can see. Um, and we're going to use it for lots of the bosses too, to basically just one-shot them. 
So coming to the first boss here called Shellshock, um, we actually have to fight him like five different times. We only actually fight him three, but it's intended you're supposed to fight him out five different times. So we're gonna get our bot to give us a grind rail, and then we're gonna meet him, and then we're just gonna instantly just get him out of here. He won't even have a chance to land if we do it right. Oh, he does land. Okay, it's in the next one. So we're just gonna shoot that. He's like, oh, I'm getting out of here. I'll fight you later. Um, and there's some stuff we're gonna kill that's gonna spawn. There'll be some ships. Some guys jump over here. Another ship up here. Just gotta wait for it. Igatos is guys. actually a master FPS player. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, we have another um, kind of arena skip out thing. Um, this is probably the trickiest one. It can take me a bit to get, but it saves a huge amount of time. Alright, first try, that's alright. It's not over yet though, there is another one which has slightly tight timing down here. Um, so we're supposed to go around this giant... Oh, let's try that again. We're supposed to go around a giant kind of grind rail section here, but we don't want to do that because it's incredibly slow. Um, so we have to do a flail cancel. It's a little tricky because we have to do it over this white bit here. It's kind of the only bit that doesn't stall us. Alright, nice. Yeah, that, that often can nice. lose tons, but that was really smooth, so that's good. Um, this section here, we're actually going to do it intended. We could jump around to get to there we need to go to, but it's actually faster just to get there manually. So we've got to clear off some enemies to get this ramp down. Hello? Can you go up, friend? There we go. <laughs> that was a bit odd. Just make our way around. We're gonna hopefully clip through this door. There we go. Nice. We're actually gonna kill these guys because there's only two we need to kill to open the door, so it's worth it. Oh, and then we just have some... Make sure the orbs are being hacked, and then we just want to clear the enemies out so they don't kill our bots when they're working. So we're just gonna reduce some lag, kind of just view our mini-map on the bottom right, just to see where the enemies are. They have a lot of health too, because this is New Game Plus, we've upgraded them to their max, so um... Alright, and now fight Shellshock for the second time. I did spam a bit too early. If you mash a bit too early, it goes into the pause menu, so you just gotta get out of it. Whoever said getting okay. that cathedral was easy. I did? Well, that was then and this is now, huh? Quickly again, we've got another donation. Uh, Shigbeard, uh, I love this game as a child. It took me a, uh, years to unrepresent it, still has the physical copy. My control was broken in a way that I could lock the L1 button in so it could auto fire. Nice. Great to see it done it fast. Is the donation incentive active? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Mm. Oh, I need to go over here. It is a good, there's some good spots to show up, but next time it comes up, I'll try to point it out. So we're just once again not going to do what's intended, we're just going to get straight to the edge. Nice. Oh, oh, I missed it! Alright. <laughs> That's alright. This one generally isn't that hard to get out of, and it, it's just right there too, so it's not too, uh... It's funny when you try a challenge, your bots are always like, why are we doing this again? Like, are you just bad or something? <laughs> alright, let's try this again. There we go. Nice. Alright, so now we're actually going to finish off Shellshock rather than just hitting him and then having him fly away. We're supposed to actually fight him three times here, but we can kind of just skip to the final area we fight him, and then the game just goes, oh, you're in there, so you must be at the final area. This one can be a little tricky, because the ground is um, slightly uneven against the wall, so... Come on. Come on. Yeah, everyone's just gonna go chaotic over there while we're just trying to clip through this wall. I'm actually restart it just to cool it down a bit. <laughs> As I said, it's not like an exact science, you kind of just gotta guesstimate it in a way. Um, because each wall is slightly different, so... Let's see how we go. There nice. we go. And we gotta do one more. Did you know that Shellshock was recently named the sexiest robot alive by Vox Magazine? There we go. Clean. And then we're just gonna get out our supernova, we're gonna hit him once, and then we're just gonna shoot him with a sniper rifle, and that should hopefully finish him off. Yeah, there we go, so that was the boss fight. He's all dramatic, like, oh, that was an epic fight, but it wasn't really. <laughs>
Um, he's actually the only boss we fight in a planet. Normally, you're supposed to go back to the um, this containment area and do some challenges and fight a boss. But um, we defeat him there, and then we go back, do some challenges, and then go off to the planets again. Uh, so this challenge, we just have to kill 50 enemies within the time limit. Um, the time limit's easy to meet, so it's more so just kind of remembering what to do. I believe it's two ships, we kill some enemies, ship comes down, we kill another enemy, ship comes down, and then we just kill the enemies. There it is. There you go. Um, you'll see as well when we're hitting enemies, they're like getting, sh like, lots of the um, enemies around them are getting shocked. Um, Weapons in this have mods, so you can kind of apply different things to them. There's like freeze, there's morph, there's all that kind of stuff. But we just use shock because it, it's the most useful, and it, um, as you can tell, it does damage like, like a lot far away from um, where you're actually shooting. So it's really handy. Maximum nanotech increase. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's actually, I think max nanotech is actually nine nine nine, but to get there, you'd have to like play it for so many hours. It's ridiculous, and we take so little damage. So the one we have, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna do kind of a unique little jump here, hopefully, where we kind of just jump over this area we're not supposed to. It's a little finicky, so let's see here. If we take too many attempts, our bots will just eventually kill everything over here, and then, uh, nice. there we go. And then, uh, the bridge will open anyway, so a lot of these things, if we're kind of being a bit sloppy and flubbing it up, it'll just come eventually anyway, so. Oh, I did that bit early, that's fine. If you time it well, you can do a flail cancel over to these thi um, things here, but there are a fair amount of edges in the game where if you flail cancel too late, it just stops you like you saw there, and that one's one of the big ones, so... There's some where you just fly off and do it in the air, there's some where you want to do it beforehand. Um, so we're just killing some dudes here, there'll be a ship that we're going to shoot. And then we'll kill some final dudes. I've had times here where the game doesn't register that you finish the level here, so hopefully it does. I have a backup save if it doesn't, and it looks like it doesn't want to. Sometimes enemies can get stuck like it would uh, away from you, so I'm just going to walk to the edge to see if that fixes it, but if not... I'm actually gonna have to load the backup save, that's awkward, but I, I don't know what causes that, I don't think anyone does. So, uh... Yeah, this is the backup save. <laughs> so sorry about that, there's nothing you can do about it though. I've tried to like redo it, and it's kind of like soft lock in that state. So, uh, yeah. What can you do? <laughs> Ratchet. I'm gonna go back here. Yeah, a good explanation here. Oh, I'll just quickly make sure that um, all my things are on correctly here. There we go, gotta put the donation center back on. <laughs> that was a bit sloppy. Alright. So here we're kind of just making a path for ourselves. These platforms, when they're about to fall, um, They'll flash red on the edges, so we kind of just want to look out for that and make sure that we're not going to jump on them like I did right at the start. Oh, I'm going to wait here a bit. This platform's irritating, and these blue platforms fall down quite fast, so I'm just going to time it. Alright, then we're going to shoot these two guys. There'll be two ships we want to shoot. And then one just up here. There'll be some enemies to the right and then to the middle. Juanita. <laughs> oh, that's really nice there. There's a little pause you can get kind of in between where it's about to load you back into the hub zone. It's I don't know how tight it is, but I don't get it often, but I got it there, so that's nice. So now we're going to Sha. The second level of Sha is just, it's not fun. It lags a huge amount and it's hard to do fast. So this jump's a little tricky, so let me take a couple attempts. All right, let's see here.
Alright, there we go. And we can kind of abuse a load zone here. It doesn't check if the bridge is open, it just checks if you hit the zone there. So we're going to bump into it when we're dead, and it's just going to think that we've made it. So this is the challenge I was talking about here. There's basically just stuff all around these nodes, and we're going to try to get our bots to hack them. We're going to try to blob as much as we can, and then we're going to try to get all these turrets to home in on us so they don't shoot our bots down while they're trying to do it. But it's kind of random, and it's like really laggy and kind of everywhere. If our bots die, you see one's died there, so we have to wait for him to revive. So we've got one on the bolt, so I'm just going to try... Alright, he looks like he's good. Nice, that's the tricky bit done. Now we just have to kind of stay alive and do the last two bolts. So... Another bot died there, but that's okay, because he'll revive by the time that we get to this bolt. Um, and then we're actually moving away from this area, so the game to kind of try handle lag can only handle so many enemies around you at a time. So we're just going to zoom down here to get all the enemies away from our bots. And then we'll just check that he's spinning on the bolt, which he is. So, um, it's a kind of neat thing. We'll use it later on. There's a really good showing of it. Oh, oh. Continuing on. Uh, all the donation. Donation was received. Uh, shout out to Mikey Shovel. Uh, Ratchet and Clank rule. Hell yeah. Indeed it does. Alright, so in this challenge, um, it's kind of a good example of where, where we seem to be just arbitrarily waiting around now and then, but our bots, we can only have two of them doing a thing at a time. Um, so we have to wait around till we see a star finish, and then we can go, um, we can assign them and then move on. But actually, one bot's gotten, not done this job for us, so uh, yeah, that's a little irritating, but uh, that's fine. I got kind of lucky there. We want to do that um, bolt up there manually, but sometimes enemies can jump up and shoot us. If you're doing it manually and you get hit once, Ratchet gets chucked off the bolt, and it can be really slow, which is why we often want our bots to do it. But because two of them are normally occupied there, if we can, it's good to have three of us working at once. So now moving to Orkson. Um, there's a cool thing at the start here, which is kind of hard to explain why it's cool, but there's kind of a maze. So you're supposed to hack these orbs and start going around in a giant circle hacking orbs. But we can trick the game, so we're going to hack one set of orbs and then hack the last set on that path, and it will think that we've done the full path. So we're going to try hop up the top here, which is a little bit of a tricky jump. We have to use triangle to do this thing I'm doing, and that's also the same button to activate the vendor. So we can't be near the vendor to the right here, otherwise it'll open up a menu and disrupt us. So, I'm just going to reload this because the, the enemy is annoying. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Once we've got it, we've got it. But it's just a little bit of a tight angle. We get to hear our bot make that line over and over again. That's fun. Ah, uh, come on. There's a good example of the... <laughs> the court guy just there. Nice. Alright, there we go. So, it's kind of tricky to get this, but hopefully we'll be able to... There we go. So he's going to start over there, and then we're going to hack the last orbs, and the game will think we've done the entire course. So Bart's just going to finish up over here, and there we go. So that's normally like two to three minutes, um, but it was much less than that. So this area is a bit chaotic. Enemies aren't really consistent, and we're just trying to hack a bunch of bolts. So we're just going to get our bots to do things, and then just try to run away so they don't die. Um, and it can get really hectic, laggy, kind of, um, yeah, just inconsistent, but we just gotta do what we can. Um, a good sign there is he finishes just as we get to this bolt, that means he hasn't been held up, so that's good. So we're gonna sign him, and then move over to this bolt. Wait, look on the bottom left, uh, bottom right, I should say, to see when one finishes. Move over to this bolt. You can see some of the lag coming in here, it's really nice. Sign him there, and then hopefully hop over to the last one if both our bots are alive. He should be coming over just behind us. There he is. Alright, nice. this went pretty smooth considering. You can have it so much worse where they can miss two to three things. The bots sometimes get confused. If you assign things early, they'll like leave what they're doing to go to another thing, but you assign them in order for a reason. Um, so here we're going to use some turrets. Um, here we actually can't skip out. Well, we can, but it doesn't do anything. So we need our bots to hack these orbs, and we're going to get some turrets up to help us kill the enemies away from them. Especially because we want to come over to the right here, um, and we can't defend the left as easy. So we want to assign the bots to orbs as soon as they're done with one side. They kind of only do a bit at a time. They don't 
just go around in a circle by themselves. So just going for him to do here. And two of them should be good now. So once again, just kind of looking down, reducing lag, mainly looking at our minimap for enemies, which doesn't make the show good for you guys, I admit, but we got to go fast, make up time somehow. Um, now here we're supposed to use the Landstalk to pull up these orbs, but our supernova we have is good enough to do it. So we're just going to go around. Um, I'm actually going to wait for this first one. That one can be really stingy to shoot, while the other three are generally more lenient. So we're just going to go around, shoot them. Oh, all right, there we go bit sloppy but we're in there this one has like a really long hitbox so we shot it from the way back there and it still got hit which is nice um so now we're gonna go fight the second boss well we have to do some challenges first but then we will um and you'll see that we actually fight bosses in the boss arena but um similar to the first boss they all die really quickly so you don't really get to show off much all right so here, this challenge is quite slow. We're forced to use our mines. Um, and it's kind of the way I think about it. Is it's almost like a, a farm where you've got four different areas. And you just want to keep mines growing in each area. And enemies will spawn near them and die. So... You just gotta... You yeah, to you can see here, for example. As a Ratchet and Clank player. And it's a good view of the Quark skin here. So normally, these guys who look like robot Quarks are... Um, called DZ Strikers, they're just generic guys with guns, but there is a thing you can turn on that makes them look like robots of Captain Quark. If you played like any of the three first Ratchets, you know who Captain Quark is, so it's like a little nod to him, because he doesn't appear. So especially here we want to make sure we've got mines, because turrets drop on all four sections, um, and then they more so start to heat up, so they drop more regularly, so we less want to do it on the corners and more so just try to get them scattered around. Keep an eye if some of them are not immediately dying. And then we get to the fifth round, and it's kind of just chaotic dudes everywhere. We just try kill them all. Which is this one here. Can lag a bit. There we go. Um, I'm going to try to do a tricky jump here to save a bit of time. So we're getting our bot to do this. We're supposed to use the grind rail here, but it's really slow. So instead, we're going to get over here and wait for this to open when the grind rail comes through. And then we're just going to boost down here ourselves. You can accidentally land on the grind rail, and if so, then that's just bad luck, but um, it kind of slowly takes its way to move down, so it's kind of hard to miss. So here we're just going to get bots to do um, all the bolts. We're going to get this and hopefully jump over here. If I don't get shot, that's irritating. And there's just one last bolt crank over here. We get our bot to assign to it, and then we're just going to walk back to reduce the lag and to keep the enemies off him. So we actually have like four minutes for this, but you can tell we don't need near and near like close to that time. So Alright, now we have reactor. We're kind of just gonna use a simple strategy we use a lot, where we flail them until they hop in a bubble where they normally regenerate, but the supernova can go through the regeneration bubble. So we're just gonna use that to finish them off. And then he's already gone. So really no challenge at all. Uh, so we have the Valix belt come out next. It's kind of a, a clunky level. The first bit it is probably like, from a, a viewer perspective, it looks quite slow, but it's just very clunky. We kind of just have to um, destroy certain enemies, because um, I'll explain why in a bit. But we have to get grind cables from our bots, and they can sometimes get stuck. So we kind of just want to take our time through it, rather than just trying to blitz through and having to reset it. Um, so there's a ship here that's really handy to kill because if we get hit while we're on a cable, Ratchet kind of jumps up and he like gets stalled and if you keep getting hit, you get stuck there. Um, and we only have access to one weapon while we're on the grind rail, which is the these, the machine guns. And they're not like that great, they don't do a lot of damage, so it could be really irritating. Um, you can do some flail cancels around here to make this section slightly faster, but it is a little tricky and for the sake of just not getting stuck here. Um, I'll just take it easy. We're going to kill these guys because if you try to jump on here while they're there, they'll like push you off and down the hole. You have to start the level again. So, get our guy to get the grind rail. Hop on the grind rail. Oh, um, and there's a bolt crank down here. If I do it correctly, the enemies can be cleared out really fast. And it's faster for us to just get the bolt crank because the bots will take their time to get there. So, we're just going to take a bit of time to try kill the enemies in here. Hop on the crank, and if we've done it right, then we'll be fine. There's actually a ship that can shoot in, and it gets really close to hitting you, but it's just not far enough to the bullets 
Um, despawn, you didn't see it there, it's kind of the one you can see at the gate there. Um, but that can be neat. So we're in the hover ship now. Um, both challenges we have to do in this, we just have to clear things, so it's kind of slow, we just... Um, all the enemies spawn in a set place, so we just know which ways, uh, like, which route's the fastest to the, to the objectives. So we're just holding down our main gun and then spamming L1, which is our rockets. Um, and just wait until everyone dies in the area, which you'll know because there'll be no red dots and the star will go away in the bottom right. So you can see it's kind of irritating too, because when you first hit them, the green guys, like that guy there, um, they float away. So sometimes they can get like stuck on a rock or even fall down on a lower ledge and you have to go find them. So it's tricky to be um, fast. But you kind of just want to focus on the big guys, I think they're called executioners, because you, you can see they take a lot more hits. And then you just want to get the homing missiles to take out everyone else. So They're small though, so sometimes the homing missiles just skittle around them and they're just sidestepping laughing at you. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Oh, I thought that guy nearly landed on like an edge there. So just two more to go. Or three more to go, I should say. There's actually some other enemies hovering around. I'm um, kind of following us. I don't know if they came in view, but they kind of like make a grid. They try to like fly through to hit you, but we don't need to kill them. And if we just get them behind us, they don't bother us. So we're just going to let them do what they want. The only time you need to worry about them is if you're trying to get the skill point where you have to find and kill them all. But of course, we don't need to do that. So um, so here's another example of where what the game tells you to do isn't exactly what it needs you to do. So we're supposed to hack all these orbs that are here, but it, it only checks if it actually gets to the end area. So we're just going to not power up those power stations and just get to the end. Nice clip. So it's the first one we passed. And the game's just like, oh, yeah, he's probably done it because he's out here. Why wouldn't he have done it? And we'll do the second one. It can be a bit chaotic here because there's some enemies over here that see you're near and they run towards the door. So sometimes you can just get jammed and there's just like fire and all this stuff everywhere because you're just inside an enemy. Um, and then here we just have to get to the end to where a bolt crank is and hack it. So, a decent bit of this depends on how our bots go. You can see there, the bot takes a while to um, get to the grind cable. Um, luckily if they're too far away from you, rather than just trying to walk the whole distance, they will teleport. Um, so, it's not like if they're ages away that you just lose time because they're just getting stuck on things. Um, you see the thing we do occasionally is we, um, we have these... Uh, hook shots I think they're called um, and we skip past them when we can because of course they take time so um, Although you can't reach them from that far kind of front back um, You can be really far under one and still grab it. Um, hopefully in a level coming up. There's a it's a really good showing of that So we're just gonna get to the final lighthouse I think it is here kill the enemies around it and then just um, get the bolt crank and we'll be on our merry way Shoot the enemies in here And then we're all good There we go. I am myself, and boy do I... So now we're going to Sorvel. Um, at the start here, it seems like it's one of the ones where, because they tell you basically to get to a bike, and to do it, you have to shut down some barriers. But it actually checks. It doesn't check if you get to the area. It checks if you've hacked the orbs. So we do have to hack the orbs. Um, and the bots are a little stingy here, where if you're far away from them, they won't keep hacking. It's like the only instance where it actually happens. So we have to stay by them and basically babysit them. To make sure they do a good job. So each of the orbs are hitting on these turrets. We're going to destroy them, hack them. They happen quite quick. So basically, when they're about halfway through the second one, we can move on. But if you do move too fast, then they'll just like kind of just sit in stasis until you return. It's weird, but maybe there was some sort of ex um, I don't know, like bug or exploit. So to actually destroy these turrets, we have to get our bots to disable their shields. So that's why I'm trying to run around him. Um, and another example there was when the bots got stuck. So, it can be really irritating, but there's not a lot we can do about it, so we just have to keep an eye on them, try to them to us if they're far away. Um, but sometimes the aim can be really bad with these shields, and they have to throw like two to three mines. You saw the throw there, like, he just threw it at the barrier, like it wasn't even at the turret. Just gonna get this to shoot this guy here. Oh, that's in... alright. He took a while to get that one. Um, so the next challenge here, we're supposed to use the bike to destroy these node things. Um, we are going to do that, but we're also going to set up some turrets. So there's basically kind of like these... He'll explain it a bit, but probably better than me. 
So there's a bunch of drones, um, and we have to kill them all. So we're going to set up some turrets. We're going to be quick to get around, and we're going to try herd them into the turrets to kill as many as we can. We have to be semi-quick, so if we stay away from the tur turrets too far, they'll just despawn, and this is kind of pointless. Um, and the drones also teleport weirdly and randomly. They can sometimes hop behind you, so um, we're just going to see how we go. You see that? We didn't... Yeah. The turrets are here, but they didn't kind of connect with them, so it's just unfortunate. But um, we just keep following them shoot them when we can it's it's not like a to a science at this point so try to get them in a line they're being a little stingy which is irritating and I'm also getting stuck that doesn't help <laughs> all right there we go our turret's got a couple of them now so yeah, this is a little longer than what we probably want you see there as well a bunch of turrets uh, the dudes have gone behind us there's not a lot we can do we're just gonna uh, keep going around get them all try connect with them um, and then I was kind of hinting at before the next area shows really well when we um despawn enemies so we have to get three bolt cranks so we're gonna basically set our bots into a bolt crank surrounded by enemies and get away as far as we can so they all despawn um, we do want to keep an eye though because the bots can get stuck or they can kind of get in loops where they're too far behind something and they keep trying to find different ways to get to the bolt crank but they just keep getting stuck so that's why we're going to wait a little here just to give our bot a good chance. Um, so you can see, for example, the one on the right, even though we left lots of enemies there, there were none on the map, and similar with the bot down the bottom now, because um, the game's just trying to load them in front of us. We also want to be careful here. Um, this platform's elevated with the bolt crank, and sometimes the bots get stuck below it, so we just want to kind of monitor him that he's going to get up there okay. Okay, he did good. And then we're going to go over here to similarly try to despawn some enemies. Um, we kind of just chill in this corner here on our bike and just wait. There we go. And then we make our escape from Torwall by blowing up this turret. So we assign our bots to do some, uh, to plant some explosives and to help us defend all the corners because there's like four areas and there's only one of us. We're just going to shoot some turrets out. So hopefully our bots don't die. They'll get to do what they need to do. And then a time will start, and we're just going to try. We're basically just going to go back to the start of the level um, to despawn the enemies, so to cause the least amount of lag and just to chill because it's safer than you know trying not to die. So we can just sit in this corner and wait. Really, our bots might stay over there to fight. There's one of them's battling a couple of dudes, kind of lost, but we don't really care. We just, you know, he can end himself. Uh, so now we're going to the next boss. Which is, it's a viscerator, I think? Yeah, viscerator. Which is similar, really easy to kill quickly. Ratchet, I've seen a sword oh! Is more dangerous than your combat boss. Yeah, as I said before, you kind of got to like make really quick turns and then sometimes you just don't do it enough, so you flap them in the wrong direction. Um, this challenge here, we have six rounds, and each one are forced to use a, what they call a random weapon, but it's the same every time. So we'll start with the rifle, then we'll go to the flail, then we'll go to the mines, which we can actually use to help us in future rounds, because they stay around, they don't disappear when we end the round. So... We're basically going to get it, we're going to shoot some over to the left to hit these enemies, and then we're going to shoot some to the right to help a ship that's going to come down. And in the sixth round, these will also kill an enemy for us, if we've set them up correctly. So you see here, the ship will come and it'll blow them up. We get the silencer, gotta kill some baddies. It's actually hot on something I want to turn on quickly here. Because there's, a, there's a, a cool cheat called, um... Gangster Guns. And a gun we're about to use, he, like, holds them. I've never used it, but people always say that they like turning on when they were a kid, so I might as well turn it on. Here we go, these ones here. So we're going to kill two guys, and the third one should just die from the bombs immediately, which is neat. Um, so... Here? Hold on, I just gotta think, I gotta focus a bit. So this is hopefully where I can show off the thing I was saying before. Um, it's a little tricky to get over here and then clip out. But if we do, we get, um, a bit of rest period. So let's hope this goes well. This is probably the trickiest to clip through, but fortunately for us, we don't have to. Because for this challenge, we just need to wait for the time to run out. 
So, as I said, hopefully we just get through here. If we're lucky, praise RNG. Come on, video game, give it, give me this. Yeah, this is kind of unlucky, but it's whatever. I can, I'll explain it anyway, even if I can't do it here. But as I said, this is the trickiest to get through, and luckily we don't have to get through it. Um, it doesn't help that the the walls slanted to where we are. So, ah, uh, come on. Yeah, it's just a bit unlucky, but we're nearly getting there. You can see it kind of jolts us sometimes, and that's almost there. But this is just a timeout challenge, so as I said, if we don't do it, it doesn't matter. It just more so gives us something to do, <laughs> but um, I will just explain it with words if I can't. Alright, we got one more shot. That's really unlucky. So we have the flail here. I'll do it quickly. So basically what happens is when we use the flail and change the weapon, Ratchet slides for a while. So what we can do during that slide is we can jump. Um, and a quick way to do it is uh, it's when he attacks, he gets some momentum. But normally he stops because he slams his flail down and then that stops him. But if we change it just as he's about to slam, he slides. And then uh, we can use it to jump with that momentum and as well swing to get us the distance. Um, and as I said, it, yeah, this is quite tricky to get. But... Um, We'd mainly just be doing this as well here, just going around in circles, waiting for the timer to go out, because all the action's up there, but we just want to chill down here. Um, but that's, it's, yeah, that's basically what flail cancelling is. Um, you just shoot and change weapon at the same time, and then just jump, so. So similar here, we've got a bus fight. We just shoot it with the flail, and then just fire our gun as much as we can, and then just dies, and it's, uh, he did it. Um, Stygia is kind of a level that it seems like we could take lots of things really fast, but the first challenge we're back in the Landstalker, but we can die from certain things really quickly, so we can take it a bit safe to make sure they die, and in the second challenge as well, which I'll explain when we get there, the bots can be really inconsistent, so we want to make sure that they do what we need to do, because it can be quite slow if, they, uh, if we leave them behind and they haven't finished a task. So we're going to try to use similar movement here to move fast, but there's lots of enemies. Um, the only ones we really care about to try avoid are the turrets, everything else does only minor damage, and there's health crates around which restore tons of health for us, so we don't really have to worry until we get to this second bit. So we're destroying some barriers and then we'll have to destroy this, I think it's like a central core or something. So each of these things only take one hit to destroy, compared to the orbs early on which took several. Um, so we're going here and then I'll be turning to hopefully destroy this turret down here before it can do too much to us, and there's another one on the other side too. Yeah, we're actually taking a fair bit of damage, but we'll just, as I said, just take it safe. If you just avoid them, you'll almost always end with a sliver of health. Um, but then you may die and you may have to restart this thing, which can be irritating. So I'm just going to do this from a distance, just to be safe. And we just got one more to get. We should, in theory, be home free now. Got a quick uh, $5 donation here. You are being told to, quote... Go faster. <laughs> All right, I got you, I got you. Uh, so ironically, this is the level where we have to go slower than we might normally have to go on. Um, <laughs> so there's a good example here of what I said, where these orbs have really, like, you can be really low and get them. Um, so yeah, these bots here, they're stingy. They can sometimes get um, stuck behind these barriers here, or enemies, or you can assign one to get you a... Um, the grind cable and then the one on the bolt will just leave the bolt and give you the grind cable even if there's one free so um, that's why we're taking this kind of casually but it's worth it just to for consistency so once again here we'll be quite low just to catch this one and we'll just assign the last one make sure it gets over there and then just keep him alive and then we're sailing um, and then we have a mission which is kind of funky where we have to protect our bots when they go around in a circle if they're if they work properly, they should just start and go on their own, so we don't need to instruct them. So now, they're going to start around. We're going to go around and get all these turrets and let them start, and then when we catch up with them, there'll be a bunch more enemies to kill, so... 
This also features my favorite line in the game, where the, the commentator says, Bingo Bango. And then he says, Too bad, I said Bingo Bango. <laughs> It's just a, a odd little thing, I don't know. I like the writing in this game. It's it's pretty cringe, but uh, I appreciate it. So as I said, we're just kind of, they have lots of health. I don't think I've ever had it where, th I think I've maybe one bot's died, but generally it's not hard to keep them alive. We just need to destroy the ships, which do the most damage. And they're just gonna come around and all to do this. They're quite quick too, so they've already only got four left. And they're up to the last two. Um, and then we have a little area. Funnily enough, in the next area, I crashed today, and I've never crashed in this game before. Um, but the game does auto-save, so it's okay if it does, but it was still interesting. So I've just got some, um, dudes to kill in four different areas, uh, three different areas. Alright, there we go. So the crash I got was when I exited that vendor, it just froze, and I wasn't sure why. Um, but we didn't get it, so... Alright, there we go. Well, this one guy is shopping the mini-map. Oh, he's gonna... <laughs> so what I mean by guys fly out and they just like sometimes land somewhere lucky and sit there. But, um, it's good that we have the mini-map for that. So we're just gonna finish off these guys' ships and then we're gonna leave Stygia. So we're gonna go to Maraxis. Maraxis, um, they basically steal both our bots and we have to save them, but we're not actually going to physically save either of them. We're kind of just gonna skip by where we do. So this first area is supposed to be really, really long, but they put the kind of exit trigger right near the start, and the exit trigger for the level is just killing two of these dudes. So we're hopefully gonna get in this wall here. This can be a little tricky. We want him to swing sideways rather than what he's doing now. And we're gonna jump over the wall, and there'll be two guys here, which are our end of level triggers. So even though we didn't free the bot, nice. the game's like, oh, you finished, alright, you've got your first bot. So now we make our way to the second bot. Uh, we're gonna be back in the Puma. Um, although we can get to the end area here and skip through, the trigger's actually the nodes and the end area. So we've gotta use our bot to get it. Um, we have to wait on the second node here, because it won't be done in time, but the third one, um, we don't get there in time, so we wanna be kinda quick. And similarly here, we're also being quick, just because it'll despawn the enemies for us, which will be nice. So we're going to skip the cutscene of the door, so the opening, and then we're going to move on. You can get kind of low health, but it's not too much of a warrior unless the bot gets stuck, which you can. It's probably a good idea to check, but I've only had him get stuck once, so it's not that bad. I'm kind of trying to avoid the barrels, because uh, they can do a lot of damage to you um, very quickly, so it's just better to go around them. So he's on the door now, I'm just going to go over here. He's on the bot, I should say. I'm going to go over here to the door, and then just wait. Get out our mine launcher, because we're about to do some mine clipping. Hopefully. Probably got one of the tricky ones coming up here. Um, and it's tricky too, because once you get through, there's a very small area we have to get the bot into to give us a grind cable. And he can either get through immediately, or he can take like 30 seconds sometimes, and we just have to deal about until he realizes that he's not with us. So, we're gonna clip through here. Normally supposed to go around back into this room, but we can get in here quite quickly. Um, and then we're gonna hopefully get in here. This wall can be quite... This is probably one of the, the second hardest walls to get through. So, nice. alright, then we're here, and we're just gonna hope our bot comes through. It's like completely random. He often, there we go, so he'll often run away trying to get to you, and then when he runs this far away, he'll spawn to you, so that was, that was like above average for how it takes. Um, so here we're supposed to get our second bot, but we realize we just don't really care about him, so we're just gonna go over here and just leave, and he can just fight for himself in the prison. So we're gonna just clip out of this gate, and then the trigger's out here, so yeah, we're just gonna take our one bot with us and leave him to get sacrificed, but the game still yeah, doesn't actually only give you one bot. So now we're going to go fight Ace Hardlight. I haven't really touched on the plot too much because it's not that great, but Ace Hardlight was used to be one of the greatest heroes, but then he got hired by these guys and they paid him a bunch of money to be like a tough guy and kill all the other heroes, so now we're going to take him down because we're not on with that. And we use a kind of neat strat for him, which I'll show when we get to it. Um, so here, this is probably the most annoying challenge. We're forced to use two of the slowest, laggiest weapons in the game to defeat enemies that spawn in, like, just all around the arena. So there's not too much skill for it. You can't really reduce the lag, because if you shoot this gun to your feet, the rockets will just go straight into it, and they won't really disperse. So we're kind of just keeping it on the minimap. There's lots of the little dudes, too, which, because you're firing rockets, it's not exactly a fast weapon, so one or two may get through when the, the destruction clears that you just have to hit off. Um, so we use this and then we use the obliterator, which is, like, we never use the weapon because it's incredibly slow and it's super laggy. So we're basically just going to try to shoot it at our feet and run into enemies, which you'll see here, because it creates kind of like a small mushroom cloud. And we're just going to trade the enemies to us. We will have to 
cause some lag later on because there'll be some turrets that are placed um, and this can kind of zoom on them but we won't run over to them because it'll take longer than just looking up and aiming at them. So it's a little bit of a blind fest here but it's just it reduces so much lag it's ridiculous. So you'll see here the turrets are actually gonna have to shoot them. Alright, there we go. Um, and then we have another challenge here, which is kind of just nothing really cool. So we just need to kill a bunch of enemies as fast as we can. So because of that, we're going to set up some turrets, and then we're going to get our cannon, and we're just going to shoot things. Um, the actual niche in this challenge is the more you kill, the faster you go. And it's kind of odd, because you fight fire faster as well, but the lag doesn't seem to be like much worse. Like It seems like there's a lot less lag. So I don't know if they just put lots of resources into like maybe scaling down some like assets or whatever to make this um, level lag less, but it's it's quite nice really. So there'll just be a bunch of guys shooting, our turrets will be going, and we're just looking at the minimap on the bottom right just to see where they are. And just monitoring if you run out of ammo too, because you can go quite quickly. Enemies on this difficulty can drop ammo, but that is a can, they're not necessarily going to. So, um, we're just going to switch to this, because it's probably the closest thing we have for now. And then some enemy spawns, and then we can go back to our cannon after that, so... We get all the enemies that actually chuck up tons of ammo at the end, which is kind of irritating, but what can you do? So we're just near the end of it now. There's a bunch of zombie um, robots that come up, so it's quite quick at the end. And then we'll fight Ace Hardlight. So normally this fight's supposed to have several phases. You kind of take him down to half, and then he builds up a shield and restores. But because we have a gun that goes through the shield, we're just going to get him down to half, switch over to the weapon, and then kill him as he's about to recharge. And then, yeah, battle over. <laughs> but, um... Th that, th that fight's probably one of the hardest things to do as well. Oh, I got the pause there, but I was just thinking of this area here. Um... <laughs> Because to get this ninja skin, you have to beat the game on the highest difficulty, which is quite high, and that fight can be quite difficult, because lots of his shots can just one-shot kill you, and it's quite long. But um, in comparison there, it's quite nice. So, even though everyone like in the world loves us now, like in the TV show, people are watching going, I love that Ratchet guy, um, the leader, Vox, isn't happy with us, so he sent us to this place, which is essentially where robots go to die, and he wants us to die with them. Um, but Clank has found a ship nearby, so we're going to go get that. Um, this first area is supposed to be really long, there's supposed to be a number of climb kills we can take, but there's a really neat flail cancel, which we haven't done in a while. We can go over an edge, and then we can just jump over to another area. There's actually a, an area supposed to get to, but the loading zone extends massively under it, so we can just tuck in under it, and it will still, like, give us the end of it. So we're just gonna jump off the edge here and do a cancel. So now we're in the middle area, we're not supposed to be. We're just gonna casually stroll over, and then we're just gonna touch this end zone, hopefully, and then it will end. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Um, so in this second area, we're supposed to get all these bolts because there's a force field up. But there's multiple ways to get past the force field. We can either do a flail cancel or we can clip it. The problem with the flail cancel is you have to do it on the edge of like this really tiny box. And I've never been able to do it because the timing is so specific. Um, and it's generally not too hard to clip. So there you go, first try. So even though it's um, it takes more time than the cancel, it's just so much easier. Um, so with this challenge, there's multiple things we're supposed to do. Um, there's a bunch of orbs here at the start, but we actually only care about the end objective, which is basically shooting the screens out a bunch of computers at the end. So we're just going to rush to that if we can. There nice. we go. It's sometimes kind of funny because um, if you do it really fast, just as you're destroying the last computer, the bots will have like a, a thing because it, it buffers... Um, it buffers dialogue in this, so they'll be like, do you want us to begin hacking nice. when you're basically done the level, so... Yeah, we're gonna go up here. And then we're just gonna use this gun, which bounces off the walls, because it quite nicely destroys these computers up here, which is supposed to unlock the... it's like, theme-wise, it's supposed to unlock the ship for us. And then we have another ship area, we have to go around and shoot stuff. Um, this one's a bit long, we have to destroy some turrets and some of these nodes. We don't have to worry about damage, we can literally just go in and look at them and just go ham, because we have tons of health. Um, the only tricky thing is just getting all the nodes, it's kind of like, a, it's not really like an, a maze, but it's not too uncommon to forget one or two. Because um, this place is symmetrical as well, like in look, but the nodes aren't exactly symmetrical, so... And 
And then after this, we've got the final stretch. So we're going to get back, and then Clank's going to have found a way for us to basically go shut down the TV network. Um, but that doesn't go to plan, spoilers. <laughs> and it's these nodes up here too can be a bit tricky because they're out of view. So head down here. Get these guys. Get some notes up here. And as I figured, there's usually one or two that I've, I've left behind. But luckily on the minimap, it shows them. So we'll just head right over there. Yeah, they're the ones right over here. Then probably the closest, which is handy. Is there one? Did I miss one below? Back left. Oh, just here. All right, so now we're done Time here. Right. <laughs> it's all good. Clank has found a way to get us up to the top, but then he realized the plane, uh, the ship's been hijacked, and they put us at the bottom. So we have to fight our way to the top. So these next areas can be quite hectic. We're going to try to do lots of clipping. Um, none of them are that hard in theory, but because there's lots of them, you can just get stuck on one. Um, you can actually see here how poorly this game's ported. This is supposed to be for PS2. Um, they kind of just upscaled it, but Ratchet jitters a lot this cutscene you can't skip. Um, cause they, they just like textured it up, and then they just left it without really trying to see if anything works. So there's some better cutscenes to show off how poor it is, um, but that's something we can't skip, so of course we show it off here. So there's supposed to be lots of these doors we want our bots to unlock, but we only actually get them to unlock one of them. Um, if we get stuck for a bit on a door, we'll of course get them to do it, just so we can continue. But other than that, we're just going to try to do it ourselves. So basically what Vox, the lead, has done is he's not happy with what we've done. So he's kind of locked all of the viewers and everything and contestants in this area. And he's basically set it to blow up and show it on live TV. So he's going to basically kill millions of people just for some ratings on TV. Which is a, is a bit screwed up, but uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So now the commentators are on our side, because of course we're in control of their lives. So the main bit is we have three of these end areas, and each of them we take a slightly different approach. So for the first two, we're gonna use our rifle to shoot off these lasers, because we need our bots to plant some mines, and these will just kill them really quickly. So then we're gonna switch to our supernova, we're gonna assign the bots to start blowing some shit up. Um, and then... We're just going to run around with this. Hopefully it hits enemies. It doesn't home perfectly, and enemies kind of spawn from all manners of directions. You can see this, the gun's kind of stingy, um, the supernova, where I was hitting fire for a while there, but it didn't fire. It just occasionally, I don't know if it's because there's so much going on, it can't get like the pattern ready, because it's quite a, a, a big pattern. And there we go, the first one's done. The second one's by far the hardest and laggiest, um, so we'll get some turrets out to help us there. So this is the one we're going to get our bots to hack it. There we go. We're also going to recharge ammo. Um, this is something you didn't really touch on. Many levels when you finish them, it'll recharge your ammo, but there it doesn't. Um, and we need some more ammo and mines in that. So now we're in the second phase. Just boosting by everything. It's funny because Clank often lets you know that you're being too slow, but like we're going much faster than anyone else would even go through here, so... You're not going fast enough. Yeah. You can flail cancel over these as well, but it's really specific and if you're not careful you'll fall down, which just loses time, so sometimes it's better just to go over them. This one here can be a bit tricky. So... There nice. we go. So here we're going to get some turrets immediately, because there's these big guys which shoot, which do lots of damage. Now we're going to get a rifle out, we're going to shoot off these things at the top. And we're going to get our bots to start um, uh, planting some explosives, and we're going to get our Vulcan cannon out. Um, and yeah, as I said, this one can get quite laggy, sometimes the bots will die and there's not a lot we can do about it, we just gotta try. You can see a bot died there. As long as we have one working, we're, we're still making progress. Um, but it's kind of just Hail Mary at this point. But once you've beaten uh, this bit, uh, most people who are like pretty good generally consider the run to be uh, a okay. The last one is by far the easiest because you can cheese it quite easily. So we're nearly there. I think we just got one more. Yeah, there we go. Might have actually cleared out all the enemies, so, uh, but we're all good. This will pop and then we're good. 
There we go. Alright, so now we're on the last stint full of boss. The final boss, I should say. Oops. Some pretty funny commentary from the game here. He's quite a dick, really. Like, that line, apparently, like, he scarred someone at childhood, and they're still, like, suffering from it, and he's just like, yeah, whatever, like, just stop being sad. So he's, it's a pretty, uh, when you look into it, it's a pretty mean line. It's like, all right, buddy. <laughs> at least the therapy goes well. Yeah. That wall there is, uh, by far the trickiest, so I'm not surprised it took me a little bit. You can sometimes get stuck in it a little, too. Um, this set of two. There we go. Nice. So this final area, as I said, it's really simple to cheese. So first, I always forget out this turret. I don't know why. I'm never good at remembering it. So we're going to hopefully get our bots to get this turret. And then we're going to leave this one enemy over here. And until we kill him, no new enemies are spawned. So we're going to get our bots to get to work. And then we're just going to stand here and just wait for him. So he's going to keep trying to kill us. He doesn't understand. He can't get the barrier. The barrier doesn't destroy in a while. So we just get a good look at our, our robot quark friend here. Very well designed. Yeah. So it looks like they're about to get the last two. And then they'll come over and they might just beam this guy for good measure on their own. Although they'll give it a good shot anyway. I'm helping. And What's up? The robot's helping. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now we've got the final boss. Um, it's supposed to be quite epic. There's supposed to be tons of dialogue, but we skip like 90% of it. So we just mash the supernova. We have tons of health. Um, and then time's coming up just as... Um, it cuts to black after he dies. So about 10 seconds or so. Alright, so just one goes to black. There we go, time. Alright, uh, what do we have next? What's up next?